Hey YouTube, this is my quick little mini album I made in probably, um, I'd say more like three hours, but we'll just say under four hours. Um, so at, um, Las Vegas CHA, I was really inspired by Teresa Collins Booth, and she had made this really cool mini album, and this is what it was, um, this project was inspired by that. So I did use... Her new papers, um, Teresa Collins' Family Stories, Brad's, as well as some sequins, and some 12 by 12 papers. Um, but pretty much everything in here is from that collection. There's a few little things that um, I had in my stash that I used. So here's the cover, and it just says Life's Moments, and I am literally out of pictures. Like, it's not even funny. So what is in this book is like leftover pictures, but I made it work as best as I could. So here's the cover, and um, I went ahead and stitched her on this. I really did try. I've been using my sewing machine a lot, and um, I wanted to use it on this as well. And this is just a chipboard piece on the back, and then I bound it with two rings. I added some seam binding and some tulle here. So then you flip it up, and this is what it looks like. I just can kind of get a view from far and then close and like I said I did use my sewing machine on a lot of these pages um, so this is a, cut, a picture of my cousin and I and um, I just wrote we always have so much fun together this is just a picture that I took in my car with um, our little doggy Charles so this book is super simple but you guys know my style that's that's me simple um, here's a picture that we took at my parents house out by the pool and it says, I love being able to capture so many moments with you. So that's one page. And then here's the next two pages. So this one is just a random picture of me, and it just says right now. And this is just like a little piece of paper that I sewed. I thought it'd be kind of cute in the background. And I added some brads. I cut this flower out. Um, I kind of have this little arrow in the back, if you can see with the blue paper, it's just kind of subtle. It's actually a piece of scrap paper that I had. And then over here, this is a picture of us again. This is actually a picture of us we took at Whimsy Doodle um, when we went to crop there. And it just says, like, today, real life moments. And I've got three brads here. This one, I actually somehow took it out of the brad thing, and I thought it kind of looked cool. And then this one says, this is our life. So, that's that page. Again, just super duper simple. So you guys can kind of see. And um, this I really just cut a bunch of papers and layered them. And then I corner rounded all the ends. These are the next two pages. It's kind of hard to see them together, I know. And then this is another picture we took um, at my parents' house by the pool. This is my friend Megan, my cousin Megan, and me. And it just says we are young, wild, and free. And I did um, do some stitching up here. I went ahead and just put all the papers together. I didn't adhere them at all. And then I ran it through my sewing machine. And then I added um, some adhesive. But I know sometimes if you put adhesive and then run your sewing machine, it can gunk up the needle. So I just kind of... I like things to be imperfect, so I kind of made them not straight, and I was okay with that. And I have this little bra that says, look here. And then this next page I kind of just added in, and it just says snapshots. I didn't add anything on this page, um, picture-wise. Um, I just kind of wanted to highlight the, the different fun colors in the collection. I think it's kind of cool that maybe sometimes you don't have a photo on every page. And then on the back, this is a black and white photo of us. What were we doing? Who knows what we were doing, but I, I had this picture of us, and I just put silly, and this is actually a library pocket and a library card back here. That was not part of the collection, but everything else on this page is. And then I went ahead and stitched this right onto there as well, and I stitched all the papers on at once so I figured out what papers I wanted on each side at the same time then ran it through my sewing machine so and then I just added some little embellishments there and the last page 
Um, this is a picture of us that we took probably at dinner or something. Yes, you know what? We took this at Chili's or Applebee's at dinner. Um, and then in here I actually sewed through the sequins. Um, one of these got bent a little bit. That was a bit crazy. I don't know if I'm going to do that again. I don't think that's good for your sewing machine either. Um, but I thought that was crazy. It looks different. Um, I just wanted to give it a try. But I don't know if I recommend it. And then down here I did add some journaling. Um, it just says, like, you know, I can't wait till you move down here so we can hang out every day or all the time. And again, I just did one line of stitching here and I have a little tag back here. And then this is actually going to get adhered to this probably, the back page. So that is my little mini album. It's got a little bit of dimension to it. Again, this was inspired by Teresa Collins. It's kind of like, um, basically you could, what she had was a clipboard. Um, I kind of made my own clipboard, as you guys have seen in my past videos, but with this I just took a piece of chipboard and added binding, binder rings, and that was it, and then I corner uh, rounded all of these pieces. So I hope you guys enjoyed my little Teresa Collins and book, and have a great day!